getting the virtual machine could not be started because the hypervisor is running error? We have you covered. Here are six ways you can fix it. This is the Windows Club. Here we have shown six ways you can solve the virtual machine could not be started because the hypervisor is not running. So follow as shown to fix the error. Let's get started. Method 1. The first thing you need to do is make sure virtualization is enabled in BIOS. Restart your PC and while booting press the BIOS key to enter BIOS. Look for the virtualization option and turn it on. If you can't find the virtualization option, look for these options and enable them. VT-X, AMD-V, SVM, Vanderpool, Intel VT-D, AMD IOMMU. Save and exit from BIOS. Method 2. Based on your experience and reports, if your CPU is not SLAT capable, your computer may not support built-in virtualization. Hence, the virtual machine could not be started because the hypervisor is not running error. In this case, you need to check whether your CPU is compatible with the SLAT. You need to visit your CPU manufacturer's website for specific details or use third-party software. If you confirm that your CPU is SLAT compatible, then visit our blog thewindowsclub.com and open the article to learn how to enable the feature. Method 3. The next thing you can do is make sure the hyper-v VNM service is running. Press the Windows plus R keys to open run. Type services.msc and press enter. Locate the hyper-v virtual machine management service and double click on it. Click on the drop down on the startup type and select automatic. Next, make sure the service is running. If not, click on start. Select apply and OK to save the changes. Restart the PC. Method 4. The next thing you can do is reconfigure the setting in the boot data file. Type cmd in the search bar and run command prompt as administrator. Type bcd edit forward slash Set hypervisor launch type auto and press enter to run it. Method 5. The error you are currently facing can occur if you have other hypervisors from third-party vendors installed on your hyper-v host machine. Hyper-v is not compatible with other hypervisors such as VMware Workstation or VirtualBox. In this case, to resolve this issue, you simply need to uninstall this incompatible hypervisors. Or you can switch entirely to other virtualization platforms like VMware. Method 6. The last thing you can try is to reinstall Hyper-V. Type Windows features in the start menu and select the top result. Look for Hyper-V and uncheck it. Check it again and click on OK. Restart your PC. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.